Nice groove, huh, Ben? Nice little groove, yeah. This guest recently uh, shook up the world of daytime drama when she returned after a four-year absence as Marlena Evans Brady on Days of Our Lives. Now, uh, here's a look back at uh, <laughs> why she came back from the dead. Uh, Cliff, here. Clip, go. Talk about the last four years. Okay, what you been doing? Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I've been sleep. Uh, what have you been doing? What has your character been doing? I was playing bridge and you know lunching with the girls, and time got away from me, and before I knew it, five years were gone. Now is that how they're going to present it? No, to you? Oh. no, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been uh, sort of asleep, sort of in a coma. I come back as myself. I know what's happened. You know. Um, it, when I was in Salem, and now I'm back, and uh, it's like just turning a page. I've never lost the time. Yeah, your fans just won't let you be dead, because I remember last time we talked, I was hosting the old Late Show, and um, they protested outside the studio last time they tried to kill you off to bring yeah, you back, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great feeling. It is. It's nice. Now, last time I was on, you caused me a tremendous problem, because you we talked about getting married, and oh. you said your name would have to be Deidre Hall Hall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's stuck. I hear it everywhere I go. Oh, look, it's Deidre Hall Hall, they say. Well, you know, you're, you're very special to me, not because you are a beautiful woman, but because uh, probably the longest relationship I ever had in my life came about because I knew something about your show. Remember, did I ever tell you this? You didn't tell me this, no. See, okay, you know how guys need opening lines? You know, guys like, you know, the, haven't I seen you someplace before? Or, uh, <laughs> it's like nice pumps, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I met this girl because I knew about Days of Our Lives. I was talking to this girl. I said, yo, so what's your name? You know, where, where you from? And can I get them digits and everything? And she was saying, look, I got to go. Um, and she said, I have to go watch Days of Our Lives. It was, it was on a college campus. I got to watch Days of Our Lives. It's on between 12 and 1. I never miss it. I don't schedule classes during that time. And I was like, oh, yeah, I love Days of Our Lives. You know, and she thought I was lying, you know, just to get them boots. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't lying, and I said, oh, you know, like uh, Robert Leclerc, you know, the guy from Hogan's Heroes. Oh, that it, goes way back. Yeah, and I, well, that's how old I am. But I, I uh, <laughs> but I told her that. She said, well, come watch it with me. And I ended up with this girl for six years. Wow. Yeah. Good thing we said on the air, huh? Yeah, so I, I, oh, your show. Yeah. The credit. How, how's your love life, by the way? Fine. Thanks for asking. It's just great. <laughs> I won't get deep into that. Why did you go back to the show? Um, a lot of reasons. They made me some offers I couldn't refuse. And, and when Ken Corday called, um, he said, what would you like to come back? And I had a list of things that I had not yet accomplished in nighttime. And uh, so I gave him my list, and he said, I think we can help you with that. So uh, besides going back to daytime, I'll be producing and developing movies for NBC. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's great. That's great. The Renaissance moment. I get to come back and play Marlena for six months, yeah. which is a joy. And they have to deal with, speaking of joy, your practical jokes over there. I, I know for a fact that you love those kinds of things. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite? My favorite? Mm -hmm. you, know, you mentioned Ro Robert Leclerc. Mm -hmm. Robert Clary mm -hmm. uh, played uh, Robert. And, and Robert, as you know, was very small. And so one of the jokes that was played on... on <laughs> short. He's short. <laughs> Your audience. 
<laughs> you forgot about America. <laughs> Anyway, Wayne had gone to the prop department, and, and they had given him a doorknob. And he had the doorknob placed halfway down the door. And Robert's name put above the doorknob. Oh. <laughs> See, I think they, they think that's terrible. I think it's funny because I did that to Prince at the MTV Awards. <laughs> we'll be right back with Deidre Hall.